Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure collection video. Today, we're going to be doing episode 16 of D Hunter's complete unopened Batman action figure collection. This episode is going to feature Kenner's Total Justice and JLA action figures. Now, the Total Justice and JLA action figure lines were not Batman focused, so I got all the different Batman related characters unopened and packaged that I could get my hands on. In this video, We'll take a look at each of the figures, wave by wave. We'll take a look at what I have unopened, and we'll see what little I have opened from this line. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see how extensive my unopened Batman Action Figure Collection is, check out Episode 1, The Overview. There will be a link in the description below. Like I said before, hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's see how we got to this point. Before we dig into this video, let's take a quick look at my overall Action Figure Collection. Here's when I had everything laid out in the house. So I think I've finally done it. I've unpacked all of the figures. As you can see here, we have the Diamond Select Toys Gotham Collection. Here's a bunch of my Mezco unopened figures. Some more Mattel stuff. Here's the Legends of the Dark Knight line. This is the Batman Power Attack line. Sort of Batman Unlimited. All my Justice League, Justice League Unlimited stuff. This is the entire DC Direct and DC Collectibles Arkham Collection. Mattel's 1966 line. DC Superhero Girls. All the different NECA Batman figures. Some Target exclusive line. All the amazing Yamaguchi figures back there. Some Spin Master stuff the Mattel Batman Missions line. Of course, in the very back, it's my entire comic collection with all the recent McFarlane releases in front. And above that, got a bunch of DC Direct and Mattel figures in the last several years. Moving on, pretty much the entire Mattel's The Batman line. Back here in the back, got my SH Figure Arts Batman figures. This side, we've got all the different Mattel, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, Batman Begins figures. Massive amount of piles. Back here, we've got the DC Collectibles Batman the Animated Series figures, and a lot of them are on top as well. Can't wait to get to that video. That one and the Arkham Collection and DC Universe Classics. Some videos I'm really excited to do. Here are the Mattel figures. I can see the Batman Legacy, Batman Unlimited. It goes all the way from the original Batman line. Here's the Batmobile. And it's going to go all the way to DC Super Heroes, DC Universe Classics, and Multiverse. A ton of figures. Great era with Mattel. Fun stuff, but I do like what McFarlane's doing, but I do miss these days, that's for sure. Going back to Kenner and Hasbro, a ton of Batman Beyond, Batman the Animated Series stuff. I mean, that just seemed endless to go through, my word. Look at these piles of unopened figures. Batman Animated Series continues all the way back here. Absolute ton of stuff just stacked up. On top of this table here, Got all the Mafex figures and a bunch of one-offs. Some Hasbro, some McFarlane, or Mattel rather, anniversary figures. Amazing Amaguchi, Kia Asima, all kind of different import type stuff. Then we've got JLA and Total Justice figures. And then on to all the rest of the DC Direct stuff. A bunch of DC Direct Batman related figures. Some more chill in the back here. And I filled up all these shelves temporarily, just storing all these DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. And it's almost done. Here's the Mattel Batman Brave and the Bold line. I did not realize how extensive that got. And a ton more Brave and the Bold down here. Moving on again. Some old Toy Biz. Super Friends, 
and DC superhero figures leading into the Dark Knight collection. Then we'll go to the Batman Returns figures. And then of course, Batman Forever, Batman and Robin, it's a bunch of different Bat Caves, and some more animated stuff in the back there. So there's a new toy line called Total Justice. The Batman X Fairy line seemed like it was sort of turning into more of a DC line. I have Robin, Fractal Armor, Batman, and the Huntress. Each one of these came in Series 1, and Series 2, and Series 3 of the Total Justice line. We'll start off with Series 1. So we'll start off with Series 1 of Total Justice. This is Robin, I believe to be a Tim Drake Robin from the 90s. Total Justice, you can see all the DC heroes above. Robin here, he comes with some armor, a little missile launcher, a disc launcher, and a big staff. But the figure himself looks very good. Robin with a spinning razor disc and battle staff. Back, got a description, picture of the figure with all the gear, example how to use the accessories, and the rest of series one. And then in Total Justice series two, there's Fractal Armor Batman. He was the only Batman related character from that wave. Fractal Armor Batman with optical shoulder cannon system. Pretty bizarre repaint. Backside, see Fractal Armor Batman. Rest of the figures from Series 2 and some of Series 1. And here he is using his accessory. And then in Series 3 of Total Justice, they released the Huntress. It was the only Batman related character from that series. And it was a pretty cool thing to get a new Batman character, a new Batman sidekick. Total Justice, got the Huntress here with their signature crossbow, some armor and a missile launcher. The Huntress with barbed arrow crossbow. Her accessories are kind of nonsense except the crossbow, but the figure looks really good without the armor on. Backside, you can see the Huntress. Here are the accessories and some more of the figures from Series 3 and earlier. And I do still have this Huntress loose. I had this way back in the day when this was the only real version of Huntress you could get. At that point, you could have a Bat family of action figures with Batman, Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl, Azrael, Huntress. Bat family was starting to grow. And I actually used this Huntress figure to make my first custom action figure ever. I put a Mystique head on here and another cape, and I had sort of a makeshift spoiler. She looks horrible. But back in the day, it was really nice to have a spoiler figure to complement my Bat Family. And then the line sort of changed into JLA. No longer called Total Justice, but it seemed to be a continuation of sorts. Series 1 of JLA had a Batman that was gray and black. I don't have that one unopened. And then it had Huntress here, slightly repainted in darker colors. You can see the packaging, JLA, Justice League of America, Huntress here. Huntress includes collector display stand. Backside, a little sort of cutout here of JLA number five. No checklist, kind of interesting. There's a little checklist up here and description of Huntress. And I've also got this darker repaint of Huntress loose. So series one had a black and gray Batman. Series 2 had a black suit Batman called the Dark Knight Batman. It was the only Batman related character for Series 2. JLA, Batman in a black suit. Dark Knight Batman includes collector display. Backside, we have a cutout of JLA number 18. Here's the checklist for Series 2 and description. And then Series 3 had both a Batman and Robin. This is a blue and gray Batman called Crepe Crusader, and it's a Robin, Tim Drake from the 90s. JLA, Batman in his blue and gray suit, a lot more standard looking figures in this line. Cape Crusader Batman, we have a little card of JLA number 24, the rest of series 3, and a description for Batman. Then we have Robin here. He actually looks pretty good, Tim Drake Robin. 
Some of his pre-pose is kind of awful. Comes with a staff from Young Justice Comics. He comes with a cutout of Young Justice number two. Same checklist for series three and Robin's description. Now there was a series four Batman that I don't have on open. And there were also some Warner Brothers store exclusives of Total Justice repaints that I don't have. But beyond that, there are also these pretty cool box sets. These were diamond exclusives. There are four different box sets, each containing five figures. Here's the JLA, Justice League of America, the world's greatest DC Comics superhero collection, number one. This is the first box set. Includes collector display stands. We've got Superman Blue, Green Lantern, The Huntress, Hologram Batman, and Hologram The Flash. Of course, you can't see what's inside. It has a window box packaging. You can open it up. And here are the figures. See Huntress, Hologram Batman. Looks like Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, Blue Superman, and a Hologram Flash. Top of the packaging here. A little description of each one. One side, JLA. Other side, same thing. At the back, that same description. Pretty cool box set. I wouldn't really want a hologram Batman or Flash, but I imagine it's a good value if you didn't have some of the figures. Here's the box set number two. The world's greatest DC Comics superheroes collection two. This box will contain Batman, The Flash, Green Arrow, Hologram Superman, and Hologram Green Lantern. Similar type of packaging, you can open it up, and here are the figures inside. You can see Flash, Hologram Superman, Batman, Green Arrow, and Hologram Green Lantern. This is his description of the figures up top. Here's the third box set. Completely changed the packaging. It doesn't have that front cover. JLA, Justice League of America, the world's greatest DC Comics superheroes collection three. We have Zariel, Martian Manhunter, Lex Luthor, Superman, and the Joker. And it looks like Lex Luthor in a plain business suit. That's really cool. Includes collector display stands, Justice League of America, Zariel, Martian Manhunter, Lex Luthor, Superman, and the Joker. Back, got the same description of each one of the characters. And here's the fourth box set. JLA, Justice League of America, the world's greatest DC Comics superheroes collection four. This will contain Hologram, Aquaman, Hologram Martian Manhunter, Superboy, Robin, and Impulse. A nice Young Justice theme here. JLA, Hologram Aquaman, Martian Manhunter, got your Tim Drake Robin, Superboy, and Impulse. On the back, got that description. So that was episode 16 of D Hunter's complete, unopened Batman and related action figure collection Total Justice and JLA. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. My collection is not complete, but I have most of the Batman related stuff. Stay tuned for next episode, episode 17. That's going to contain the Kenner Night Force Ninja collection. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure collection and action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll talk to you guys real soon.